Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the best way, I think, to curl hair. I know that sounds crazy, but it lasts all day. They look soft, it's not like really crunchy curls. It's the way I've been wearing my hair for the past couple months, and a lot of you have been asking. It's the way that I wore my hair to iMats. I shared this method with some friends at iMats as well that noticed I was doing something different with my hair, that complimented my hair. And it's hard to believe that this actually works because the last step is crucial. I have done so many curling tutorials. This is a little different. Um, well, it's very different. I'm using the same stuff that I used in my last video, the hot off the press curling spray, which I think is key for this. The curling method is important, but the last step is what is crucial. This will last me until I wash my hair next. I can brush it. I can do whatever. And believe it or not, this is with my curls totally brushed out. And I think that's kind of the key. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope that you love it. This is my, like, favorite go-to way to wear my hair as of late. No damage with, well, I don't want to say no damage, but, um, because, you know, that would be kind of silly. Because I'm sure curling your hair no matter what isn't the best thing for it. But this stuff is a really great heat protectant. My hair is very straight, does not hold curls. So this is ideal for me to do this on me to prove to you that it works. Um, this will literally last three days if I wanted it to, if I didn't if I didn't wash it. Um, but yeah, you just keep fluffing, keep brushing, and it will always, it'll be there. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. I'm really excited to share this with you if you can't tell. And if you want to see a step-by-step -step tutorial to get the look, then keep watching. Alright, so you want to start with clean hair. You can use second day hair, whatever. Use second day hair. So I brush it out. I use this brush. And this is what I'm going to be using for the whole thing. This is just a Conair paddle brush. I don't really splurge on expensive brushes. I think this one does the trick. Kind of part your hair wherever you want it so it'll be easier for the second step. I kind of do the side part. It's not too deep. A little messy. And then take like a claw clip, like one of these. And you want to section your hair off so that you're just going to be working with the lower half. You've seen me do this in videos before um, because I have several curling tutorials already. Um, but this method's just a little bit different and it's crazy how long the results last. So again, brush out that lower section and section it off into two. And you're going to start in the back section of whichever side you like. I'm going to use the Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press Spray and I spray each section as I go. This is a new can. I just use the last of my other one. Just lightly spray it. Take your one inch curling iron and I've been clipping it sort of midway and then instantly or immediately start turning it outward. And I know some people and even I in the past I've alternated the um, the curls especially in the back. When I do it in the front I always curl away from my face like turn the barrel outward. You don't even have to hold it that long. But um, but I like to do them all the same direction, especially for this method where we're going to brush it out at the end. I know that sounds scary, but trust me, like it works better than anything I've ever done. But when you have them all going in the same direction, it's more flattering, I think, after you brush it. Um, I used to do that a long time ago with brushing, and I would find that while the curls were softer and they looked prettier immediately, um, throughout the day they would fall. But if you combine it with this, it will be perfect. So just keep going in small sections until you get that entire section done. I'm already almost done with this section and I it's only been a couple minutes. I've got one more, or maybe two more sections left. And you see it just goes very quick. I know in older videos I've explained this a lot, but just to kind of show you exactly how I do this method, just turn it and then you're barely going to put some light pressure on the clamp so that you can pull it down while turning it. So you're going to be like pulling and turning at the same time until you see that last little piece of hair go under. Hold it for about five seconds at the most and then pull it and it's a perfect little curl. Alright, then we're going to go to the other side, and what I do is I don't even spray that section yet. I've been using the hairspray just at the end for this. And then I start with the next one. We're going to do it exactly the same way, except this time I'm going to be turning it the opposite direction, still away from my face. Alright, so I'm on my last section right here. This has literally taken maybe five minutes total. And then you want to just kind of gently flip that to the back. Then you're going to take down this entire section. And what I do is I just immediately section it into two. And then I take one of the halves and pull it around front. 
and then I clip up the one that I'm not going to be doing right away. And then your other hair should still be in the back, so you should have a good section. And then I just brush it out. And then again, just like the lower section, I'm going to start from the back and work my way to the front. Almost knocked over my hairspray. But it's very simple. The method is the same all the way around. And I've been doing this to my hair a lot lately. I used to curl my hair maybe once every few weeks, if that. And now that I've been doing this method and it's actually been working and I've been getting great results, over the past several months, um, pretty much since I did the last curling tutorial, cause I remember I started doing this right after that. Um, I started doing this method with that spray and with the ending step which is the most important um, and I remember regretting doing that video because I showed how to do it just a little bit different I didn't brush it out at the end um, so I've been using this a lot and it's been really really great so I've got one more section after this one you see that entire section went by very very quick every day I can do this usually in about 10 minutes and I will say that once you get used to using the curling iron, you'll be able to do it that quick too. Because a couple years ago, shoot, even like maybe like a year ago, I could definitely curl my hair, but it just wasn't something that I was good at at all or that I could do quickly. A lot of times, like I said, I just didn't feel like it was worth it because I didn't get great results um, or long lasting results, I guess. Alright, so last section with this one. Alright, and then for this one, you can pull around this section if you feel like it's pulling in the back. The curls should stay separate from the straight hair. So again, take the clip out, brush it out, and then we're going to do it exactly like we did the last section. And then we'll be finished. Alright, now you're going to be looking like a hot mess, let me just not even lie. Because your curls are going to look really tight, and you're just going to leave it like this for a couple minutes. You can separate a couple pieces. You can see that starts coming together prettier. <laughs> and um, you just want to let it cool for about five minutes. So do your makeup. Um, do whatever you want to do. But let it cool for sure for about five minutes. All right, then we're going to brush. You want to wait and put your jewelry on until the very end. I forgot to mention that. We're going to use a brush like this, not one that has too many bristles, just like a paddle brush like this. And you're going to start with the bottom and just brush it out. This would have made me cringe a long time ago because my hair usually does not hold curl. When you brush it out, it makes it look softer, it gives it volume, and these curls will last all day. Um, so just, like I said, lightly brush it out. And again, wait till it's totally cool to do this. And then my favorite part, you fluff it. You see how pretty it makes it look? You thought when I brushed it out it was going to go flat. I know, that's what I always thought, but it's almost like after you brush it, it gets like curlier. I don't even, I don't even know how to explain it. Get the hair kind of fluffed like you want it. You can really kind of create a lot of volume up at the top, which is what I like to do. And then take your hairspray. Um, I use the Tresemme Tray 2 spray. It doesn't um, get it too crunchy or anything. It just, it's really nice. I think it looks prettier when your curly hair isn't so perfect. I like it when it's a little, like, softer, but still looks a little, I don't know, like, tousled. And spray. Just spray a little bit so you don't want to, like, soak your hair in hairspray. And that's what I love about this hairspray is that it keeps it soft. Alright, so that is that. If it looks really poofy, it will kind of fall and look good as the day goes. You can even... Um, not be afraid to brush it out as the day goes on because it, it won't fall. I swear this um, hot off the press stuff is like a miracle. Like I don't even know. It just, it works so well. These are from BCBG. They're my new babies. Um, but yeah, you never want to put your, you never want to be wearing jewelry while you're spraying either anything really. So that's it. It's a great look for Valentine's Day or for any time. It will last you until you wash your hair. No joke. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy early Valentine's Day and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.